Greetings combo fans and welcome to Dude's Comic Hall for the third week of May 2015. I'm Jason, this is my weekly video where I share with you the new comics I've picked up today and officially the best day of the week, new comic book day. I did have a few doubts whether I'd be able to pick them up this week on time. Um, I'm off work um, tomorrow, so I wasn't too, I wasn't as worried as I am sometimes when, you know, you, you haven't got a day off to the following week and you're like, uh, like I'm gonna have to wait ages for my books if I can't get them but fortunately the comic book gods heard my pleas and they got me to the comic shop on time it was a big week this week um, I've still not read all the books from last week I I did like eight days in a row at work and I just I never I just needed to have time it was just so busy I never had time last week to get through my books so hopefully the last few of those books I'm going to finish tomorrow on my day off and then I'll be able to do my review video so my, my review video for last week's books will be done and there will be one um, it's just running a bit late um, anywho let's get into these this week's books what I've picked up and what I'm expecting from them um, it was a big week but everything was off my pull list there was one book I'd forgotten about that I'd added but everything else is us all from from my pulse and nothing from the shelves so i didn't walk over to them and get temptation um for which fortunately for my band balance that was anywho let's kick things off we start off with dc convergence issue number seven i love that cover with all the old heroes on there uh, that is brilliant uh last week's issue as you'll see in my review uh, when i upload it I enjoyed last week's issue and I'm hoping it's a turn, in, turn of the, the series and that this is going to keep the str strongness up because I think Convergence so far has been a bit disappointing. We then have Batman and the Outsiders which I really enjoyed the first issue of this so I hope the second issue is going to live up to it. We have Justice League of America which yeah I, I enjoyed this uh, so we'll see where we go in this one. We have Team the new Teen Titans, which the first one of this was fun, so, you know, hopefully it's going to keep that tone. This one looks like it could be good. Convergence Swamp Thing, we've got like, I think that's like Vampire Batman uh, going up against Swamp Thing, so that should be pretty cool. We then have Convergence of the Flash, uh, which is, this is our original Flash, so that, that should be all kinds of fun. Uh, one of the things with the DC books, with these Convergence books, that I've kind of... I, has been a problem is like the first issue you kind of had the world that were fighting each other but in these the follow-up issues you don't and I really would have liked a little reminder of who they're fighting because not every story is kind of set out in a way where it reminds you um, and after you've read so many convergence books you can't kind of keep up with which earth is fighting which earth uh, we then have Witches, issue number 6, um, I bloody love this, it is terrifying, uh, I'm not going to read this before bed, I'll definitely read it while the sun is high in the sky, uh, because I don't want to go to bed after this, because it is terrifying, but Snyder's doing a great job, and the book itself is great, but he's been doing these essays in the back, and they have just been tremendous, um, Snyder is just a, such a talented writer, I, I am just so jealous, it seems, because everything he does is good, he seems so effortless, um, even just like writing an essay about himself and about his life and the influences that into writing which is that is just engrossing in itself we then have another 499 books so you know we're coming to the Marvel books uh, it's Daredevil 15.1 um, um, I don't know what the point of this been out um, I, I haven't I try and stay away from solicits because I like the books to be a surprise um, it's not our regular team uh, we all know it is, we got Wade and Samney, but we got Guttenheim name on there as well, so I don't know what's going on with this, um, we'll see. We then have Deathlock, issue number 8, been enjoying this, this has been a, a good series and I'm interested in where it's going to go because they sent out another Deathlock to take care of him, so um, it could be good, this is getting good. Um, we then got Deadpool's Secret 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 Wars, issue number 1. I'm not the biggest Deadpool fan, I like him in small doses, I kind of could like read a story arc or a, a mini series and then that's enough for a bit and I, I might kind of delve into him at, at intervals, uh, he's not a character I could read consistently all the time, 
um, but I really like the idea. I read there was a preview for it. I don't know if those of you have seen my videos. And we've got this great double page spread and they've kind of added to the original Secret Wars. You've got Deadpool and Deadpool's kind of this it's What I understand of Deadpool is a character that breaks down the fourth wall. Um, so seeing him added in to Secret Wars, there could be some interesting commentary there. And I'm interested in where they're going to take the series. Um, is it going to be a bit of nostalgia or are they going to go completely off left field? But I thought I liked the look of it so I'm going to give it a go. We then have Master of Kung Fu, issue number one. Uh, this is a Backworld book. Um, I really like Shang-Chi as a character. I I think it was Action Force, which is the English version of G.I. Joe. They used to have in their backup, in the British, in the UK version, they used to, in the backup, they used to have um, Master of Kung Fu. So I knew of Shang-Chi, the character, and then they put him in the Avengers, and I was like, yes. Um, so Chang Shang Chi is a character that I, I really liked. The last series they done of the him was a bit disappointing. Um, so I'm hoping that this one is going to be good. Uh, I'm going to give it a go. We'll see how, where we go. It's a four part mini series, so hopefully it's going to be good. Getting back into the 499 books, we have Planet Hulk issue number one, uh, which like the thing that sold me, the guy in my comic shop was like, it's Captain America. It's Devil the Dinosaur, it's on the Planet Hulk. And I was sold, you know, that that's all you needed to tell me. Um, I, the original Planet Hulk, I absolutely loved. It's one of my all-time favourites. Um, and it's, it's just such a fantastic, epic story. And uh, it'll be interesting what they're going to do with it here. This was the book that I forgot I added to my pool. Uh, Spider-Verse issue number one and you know it was nearly tragic because it's a 4 99 book um, So like not only like is a book that I, I like as soon as I saw it in my stack of books Because I count them make sure I've got I got the right amount Not that my my shop my shop. They're brilliant. They 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 ne rarely you know ever Forget a book. They're really good at getting my order right but I, you know, I just like to check. Because uh, sometimes it's not them, it, may, it might be me, I might have forgotten to add a book that I wanted or, or something. But, um, or sometimes it's might, they might not have had that book shipped and that's why it's not there, you know. But, uh, so yeah, so I saw this book and I was like, okay. And as soon as I saw it, I remembered that I'd added it to my order. So, um, yeah, we'll see where they're going to go with this. Um, a Secret Wars book. I enjoyed in the main. I enjoyed Spider Verse. I reading all the books. I did get a little bit Spider Verse out, but I'm hoping with that gap now between it, I'm gonna get back into this. Uh, we then have Star Wars issue five, which I've been really loving. What Jason Aaron has been doing with Star Wars, um, yeah, and everybody seems to be kind of converging on Tatooine, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, we have Uncanny X-Men, issue number 34, which I believe this is coming to an end soon. Uh, it'll be interesting, after Secret Wars, what they are going to do with X-Men, you know? Because, like, they seem to, like, a lot of the properties they don't own, they seem to kind of be downplaying. Um, I don't know if that's, like, an official strategy or it's just for us conspiracy theorists. But it's going to be interesting where they're going to go with the X-Men books. Whether they're going to kind of, like maybe put into the into the regular universe go go with like maybe the uh, alternate version of the x-men i don't know we will see time of real pal we then have a doctor who 10th doctor issue number 10 which i really like that cover uh, a bit of a like a freaky kind of cover I like that I like that a lot we then have the 11th doctor issue number 12 um, no, Al, Al Ewing on this issue, it, it's Rob Williams who writes this issue. Uh, the story they've been running in this, it's kind of been running from issue one. And I'm, I've got to the stage, I want it to be over. I want us to move on to a different story with different characters because I've just had enough of this story, I want it to finish. It, it just feels like so many times we've reached the end and then, oh no, there's more. Um, I'm like, no more. I, I, I want the 11th Doctor in, in a, a new adventure. Now to the Valiant books. We have Ninjak issue number 3. Which I've been really enjoying this. But this is the issue where it looks like the action is going to step up. 
um, as there's that other kind of um, I can't remember her name hopefully it'll be Cannon is the, like the guy that he's trying to in, trying to infiltrate the, the company uh, weaponeers uh, Cannon is the guy he's got Ro Roku that was it he was fighting Roku this like kind of female kind of badass so that looks like we're going to get some action this issue but this has been really good so far i've enjoyed it and speaking of really good uh we have bloodshot reborn issue number two really like that cover and i really i enjoyed the first issue um it didn't blow me away it wasn't as great as i was hoping it was going to be but i'm definitely intrigued with the direction they're going in with this book so i'm really curious to see if that book's going to explode this issue so those are my books for this week um now a bit of business we have uh, my clash of kings report i started this last week i had a quite a good week i'm now on page i don't know how well you can see this but i'm now on page 72 um so i've had a quite a good week what i tend to do is on my way to work um, I'll listen to my podcasts on the way to work and then on the way home uh, because I get I get the train on the way home I'll, I'll be reading my book on the train home so I kind of get through a chapter or two well usually it's a chapter a chapter a day at least so that's really been helping me and I've really been enjoying the book if you're a fan of, game, of the TV show and you really enjoy Game of Thrones and you but you're kind of a bit nervous about reading the books because maybe you're not so much into fantasy and, and that kind of deal. Um, but you like it. You really love the TV show. It's well worth reading the books because it gives you more in-depth into the, the world and the history of this world that makes this world feel so real. Um, and then also, like the characters, you get so much more into their their thought processes and their motivations and into, like I say the history and everything so yeah uh, re it's really been good I've really been enjoying it so far A Clash of Kings I've been enjoying I'm just been whizzing through it um, so yeah that's me done um, I will be back hopefully within the next few days with a review video from next week then hopefully at some point over the weekend I'll be back with a review video for this week um that is the plan whether we achieve that plan time will tell uh anywho um i'm gonna go now and i'm gonna finish off reading last week's books uh, i'm gonna get some ice cream a nice cool beverage and i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna read my books uh that is after me and the wife have watched gotham uh, we got the, the last night's episode well no a few nights ago's epi episode of gotham to watch first but i'm still gonna get me, me some ice cream and uh a nice cool beverage anywho thank you very much for watching my video uh, please if you liked it if you enjoyed it uh, me twittering on give me those beautiful thumbs up um, that's, that's pretty much everything I've got to say so thanks for watching I've been Jason this has been Dude's Comic Haul bye for now <laughs>